Hey, welcome back everyone. So in this video, we're going to figure out how we can invoke the Python toolbox in C Sharp in the Pro add-in. So uh, I kind of forgot to go over what these lines up here are. So these are basically just like import statements. So in Python, you would have like import arcpy. Uh, this is just like C Sharp and the Pro SDK's way of importing stuff. So pretty sure we don't even need to import most of this stuff because we're not using it. But this is kind of just what the boilerplate gives us. So I'm just going to leave it because uh, chances are we might need some of this stuff down the road. But um, in order to invoke a GP tool, we need a new library. And if we go to the Python, or not the Python, but the Pro SDK documentation, um, there's this tool, this method called the open tool dialog method. Uh, it, it's kind of tricky to find where all this is, but uh, if you just go to the Pro add in um, API reference, um, and we need this pro or desktop core assembly and in namespaces, uh, geoprocessing namespace, and then methods, open tool dialog. So we can see here, activate geoprocessing pane and open the tool dialog in the pane. So this is pretty much what we want to do. So let's just copy this example here and paste it, not in Python, but in Visual Studio here. Um, so I'm actually going to comment out this section because we don't want to, when, when the user clicks the button, we don't want to say this is the Python toolbox. We, we don't want to do that anymore. So um, so right now it's complaining about this. It says the name geoprocessing does not exist. So we have to figure out how to import that. So we are going to need to import. Um, I'm trying to find somewhere I can just copy and paste easily basically this so let's just put that at the end here and we don't need that and put a semicolon all right I think that looks good oh we have to say using in front of it okay so it, it went away and now this is complaining about param values because we don't have values because we don't have this defined here. But let's first of all look at what param values actually is. Um, all right, toolpath values, array of parameter values. So in their example here, <clears throat> they're constructing an array or a list in Python and creating it or basically adding these three inputs. Um, and then they're running the analysis.buffer tool with these three inputs. Um, but we don't actually need to do this because we don't want to just run it with, um, with inputs like straight away. We want to get inputs from the user. So what we can do is we can just uh, basically ignore that and put null there because we don't need that. So and we can't actually just not use it I don't think because it's going to complain that it doesn't have all the parameters there's no argument given that corresponds to yeah so that's fine let's just say it's null all right so the next step is we just need to basically point to where our toolbox is so if I go to back to pro oh, I think I closed it but Back to where your toolbox resides so mine was in this project 12 location just shift right click and copy as path and we're going to paste it in here paste and it copies or paste things weird so you see there's this extra space here so we're going to do that and then we also need to put double uh, backslashes Normally in Python, you would just do like R, but uh, I don't know how to do that in C Sharp. So we're just going to do this instead. All right, and give that a second and PYT. And we also need to include the name of the, the class that we want to call in the Python toolbox. So you might think that we need the name of the Python toolbox, but we actually need what the class name is. So Remember, we call it my tool, but the actual class is called tool. So let's ref, uh, refer to it that way right here. So it's going to be slash tool. Uh, oh, yeah, we backslash there. Okay, 
I think this looks good. So um, let's try this, make sure this works. And assuming this works, I'm gonna show you how we can bundle this up because right now we're basically hard coding it and saying, you know, go to this location. But if we were to distribute this on someone else's computer, they're not gonna have this, uh, this file. So let's just make sure it's working first. All right, we'll do the same thing we usually do, start without a template. And in theory, once this finishes loading, when we click this button, it should pull up that toolbox. So now it's, it's going to our computer, finding the PYT file and just executing it same as it would Okay, so now let's type uh, franchise one two three and just call this input two, and we can run it. And there we go. So that is how you can execute it uh, from a pro add-in. Pretty snazzy. Yep. So that's cool. So the only other thing I wanted to show you real fast is how you can actually package it or bundle it. Um, and let me see if I can Google how to do that. RGS Pro add-in package um, Python toolbox. There was a, a th uh, thread that I found how to do this. I think this is it. Packaging Python toolboxes. Yeah, this is it. So uh, this is basically what we need to do and this is what we're going to use. So Let's just copy this. And it's actually two different statements on one line for some reason, but we want it to be like that. And we want to put our um, Python toolbox like this. Paste. Okay, so we're missing an import here. So path, let me see how we would do that. Maybe it's in here. Um, path dot get directory name. I just need to get the right syntax to import this library. And I believe it is just system.io. Let's try that. Okay, so basically what, what this is saying is the first is the install path. So this is just, this is going to equal basically wherever our pro add-in is getting installed, I think. Or it basically, we don't exactly have to worry about what that is doing at the moment. Um, it's basically, I, I think it's wherever this build process is happening. That's the location. And then install path. Or toolbox path. That is the location of the toolbox. So we need to actually copy the toolbox into our project. So let me go back to these instructions here. And this guy was saying, to package toolbox with the add-in, you will want to add the PYT to your project set the build action to be none and copy output to directory copy always okay when you build the project toolbox will be packaged with the add-in okay so let's grab our pyt file copy it go back to visual studio 
click the YouTube Pro add-in and click paste. And now this is part of the project. So now uh, that mu the install path must just be this location because then we can reference it like this, YouTube toolbox, PYT, PYT. And why is this complaining? What is this complaining about? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I forgot the semicolon here. <laughs> it's messing everything else up. All right, that should fix that. And does that fix? It still doesn't fix this. Unexpected character. YouTube. Not really sure what the issue was there, but I basically just removed the semicolon and added it back and it seemed to work. Okay, so we're basically just defining where this toolbox exists. Instead of like hard coding it, we're, we're doing it more programmatically here. So let's just, now we can reference uh, toolbox path here instead. Toolbox path. And the last thing we need to do is just do those other steps that this person was saying so set the build action to none and copy output directory to copy always so they're referring to um, the actual Python toolbox file here so if you click on the file here there's these options down here so build action none copy to output directory always copy or copy always so this is going to actually copy it to where it actually gets built if that makes sense so Let's save this and uh, give it a shot. All right, let's go to my tab. Should behave exactly as it did before, but this time we're packaging it differently. Okay, test, test two. All right, cool, so it looks like it worked. Awesome. Um, so the only other thing, so let's shut this down because we're in development mode. I actually want to build the actual add-in that you can distribute to people. So let's stop this. And we're going to say build, build YouTube Pro add-in. Okay, so it put this, uh, the actual add-in in this location. So see users admin. Um, see, uh, documents, add ins. And if you look at the timestamp 124, that, that just got created. So this is something that you could copy and you could give it to someone as long as they have pro installed. So I'm just going to 
paste this on the desktop, for example. And we should be able to just double click this and you'll notice it says version one and you can install it. So if we install add in, installation succeeded. So just to prove that we can uh, change this, let's go back to the config and now we'll change the version to 1.1 and save this and build it. All right, so it's in the same location here. It overwrites it. Now we have a new one. I'm going to copy this to the desktop, delete the old one, paste it, and it should say 1.1, .1. yep, version 1.1, so I'm going to install it, okay, and now let's actually, instead of opening Pro from Visual Studio in the development mode, let's actually open Pro, just normally, like normal open Pro. And with any luck, it should show up. All right, so there's the My Tab, and we should be able to see information about it, like the version, I think, if we go to Project, Add-in Manager, and there it is, 1.1. And let's just, for good measure, test it again. Test. Input. Cool, so it worked. All right, there you go. That is how you can um, run a GP tool, a Python toolbox from an ArcGIS Pro add-in. I uh, hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, and like I said, I'm going to be putting this on GitHub so you can follow along. Um, and yeah, in the future, as I learn more C Sharp and can, you know, as I figure out how to do more things, I'll definitely make more videos because I, I think this is. This is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if you like the, this short video series, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep making this content. All right, thanks.